Hello everyone and welcome to Steno 24-7. This evening I want to work with the metronome and do this selection number 25, a plea for mercy at 120 words per minute. I also have the metronome set at 120 words per minute. This is something new I'm trying. So if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It is an experimentation. There is no need to give a thumbs down. It really hurts my channel when you do that. So please, if you like it, you can leave a comment. You can leave me a thumbs up. Say, hey, I really like that Steno 24-7. Can you do some more of that? And I will do more of these. <clears throat> this is going to be jury charge at 120 words per minute. <clears throat> With the metronome. Ready? The reason I'm using the metronome is because when I was in school, we used it and it helped me. And I was hoping that maybe it can help you as well. Ready? Let's write. May it please the court. If there is any single attribute of American jurisprudence which makes it above that, of any other jurisprudence in the world, it is the ability of the court to maintain an open mind and a dispassionate attitude until it has heard both sides of any given situation. Your Honor, we have here a 22-year-old boy, a boy who has not previously been guilty of any crime of any nature whatsoever who has never been accused or led before the bar of the court for any crime whatsoever. Your Honor, his mother is in court this morning, also his stepfather and his wife. Had it not been for the space of a few brief moments in the particular evening in question, this boy would not be before the bar of the court charged with the most serious crime on our statute books, the crime of murder. This boy has consistently adopted an attitude of contrition and sorrow and penitence for his act of that night. Witness the following, your honor. He gave himself up. He didn't have to be sought out and picked up by the police. He didn't cause the police to search over the community for him. He gave himself up voluntarily to the police officers <clears throat> and of his own free will and volition gave a statement to the police officers in the presence of Clifford Morrison withholding nothing, telling everything that he knew, completely penitent, completely contrite. Your Honor, much has been said making light of the Prohibition Act, the Volstead Act. If ever there was a justification for that act and its rigid enforcement, that justif justification is before Your Honor this morning. Here is a boy 22 years old. If he hadn't had 15 or 20 shots of whiskey in him and maybe a dozen beers, this boy would not be before the bar of the court this morning. What this boy did is unforgivable. It is true. The mere physical act of going out and striking someone that he had never seen before. But, Your Honor, this was not a coldly premeditated act. In the words of the statute, murder is the unlawful killing of a human being and requires a cold premeditated act with malice aforethought. Here is the act of a man almost insane. I am making a plea in mitigation, not a plea in defense. At least that is my purpose. We have entered a plea of not guilty, but... Nevertheless, this is the act of a crazy, drunken boy, a boy 22 years old, your honor, who actually didn't know what he was doing. He saw someone standing on the corner 
and because he was drunk, crazy drunk, went up and struck the man. Your Honor, I did not make a plea in defense, and we did not enter a plea of not guilty. I say this as much for the defendant as for his family, because the practitioner at the bar would not like to have it on his conscience that the most serious of all penalties might possibly be inflicted upon this boy. I earnestly ask your honor to keep in mind the other facts and the other elements in this case. In brief repetition, the boy gave himself up, willingly disclosed all that he knew. All the testimony in this case indicates that this boy had consumed a quantity of liquor and that the crime was committed in the heat of drunken rage. Under all the facts in this case, on behalf of this boy, this 22-year-old boy, on behalf of his mother and his stepfather and his wife, this boy who has his whole life before him, who has never before done anything wrong, we throw ourselves upon your honor's mercy. Hey, my voice barely held out, but thank you for watching. And let me know if you like this.